This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max, It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. Frozen, Frozen, Heroes. Gonna tell you about pros and pros and heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Rob N3000. Welcome in to Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I am Zach, joined as always by my co-host, Man Wonder, Mr. Mike. Hello. How are you doing today, Mike? I am wonderful. Oh, Man Wonder that? is yeah. doing wonderful. Quick, quick callback. Nice. Yeah. I was I was going to, uh, whenever you said uh, welcome in, I was going to say, well, thank you, or something like that. Oh, but like, I thought that's going to trip him up. I don't want to do that. No, that's, that's rude. Fine. It's rude. I can, we've, we've, I think, seen on this show that at least... I can bounce back and adapt somewhat oh, to what's thrown you can. at me. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe not in a good, you know, successful way, but I can at least attempt to, and it can be entertaining. I literally said to. skinheads to you a while ago, and you just you just rolled through it. So it was know. great. Sometimes it's just easier. I find it more fun for me. Sure. Um, if I make you feel, I'm not okay. This is gonna sound weird. <laughs> I, I don't want to make you. Wait. I know. I don't want to make you feel awkward. Like that's not my oh. goal. Obviously, you're gonna have to try really hard. No, 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 no. no. I know, and <laughs> that's not my point. But like, <laughs> if you're saying something to like try to embarrass me, and I know like that oh, wasn't. No, 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 no. no, no, I, no I know no, like no. that wasn't. I'm just giving this as an example. Yeah. Like. I'm going to take it a step further to make you feel uncomfortable. I get it. Yeah, though, that's, that, that's a great attitude to have. And that is just hilarious yeah. to me because yeah. it's like somebody thinks they're there and oh. you just, yeah. My People try to do that to me all the time. Like, you know, oh, well, I'm going to make it awkward or I'm going to do this. No, I can out awkward you. I that's promise. true. Yeah, I got you. I have a lot of practice at being extremely awkward. Yeah, I can, I can out so. you. We're good. It, it, takes, it takes a lot. It takes a lot to embarrass me. It takes a lot to awkward me or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, no. um, I just I, I don't care. I also <laughs> tend to have a sense of humor of where I will start like a broad joke. Oh yeah, that the whole room can get, and I will keep tapering down and tapering yep. down. Yep, and just you know uh, doubling down on it until mm-hmm. I get to a point where it's mm-hmm. me and like one or two other people. Sure. Yeah, I don't know yeah. why. That's I know just, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. So there you go. That is uh, an inside. That's a little slice inside our brain. There you go. Or something. I guess. Yeah. Are you like that? What? No, I was asking our listeners. Oh, sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, before, so let me it try it again awkward. without Mike interrupting. <laughs> Are you like that? Pause. Give them time to answer. Okay. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for your answer. Um, now, uh, what we're going to get into. Write us at bros, foes, heroes. <laughs> at gmail.com. Is that right? Uh, bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. Bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. Uh, we have. Or bros, foes, and heroes at roguemedianetwork.com. There you go. Yeah. There's also, like, if you go to our page, there's a really cool little, like, player, like, at the bottom of the You can yep. just scroll through the Or whole. just find your favorite bro, your favorite hero. I started to say ho. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just, one of us too in that. Tell instance. them all about uh, it. It's just either yeah. Mike or I. Should we make like just pins the that you can bro put, bro? and it's just like animated of our faces, and you can vote if you're like if team you're a bro Zach or, a or hoe? team Mike, bro or a hoe. I don't know who's team bro and who's team. I don't hoe know why us, it, it, it it seems when you brought me the name, I didn't think it right off the bat. 
ho, but I've had several people say it like that. Bros, hoes, and heroes or whatever. Is it and I'm just, like, I guess because the H that they... I guess. I don't know. Are there I idiots? Thought, Maybe well, that's it. I thought it's, it rhymes. And it's really cool. And it's bros, which, yeah, you know. Bros, hoes. Mike and I are super cool. It's foes because we talk about villains. Yep. And it's heroes. So we're talk- I mean, I yep. just thought it encompassed everything. It does. And, you know, I can't speak... Uh, for what Mike has done in his life, but I don't know. Maybe it's fitting. Maybe it's not. There's a lot of don't IT. judge us I'm an either IT way. Ho. Ooh, it ho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an it ho. You ever watch? I know this is off topic. Yeah. I think no, we have talked about this it. show. Yeah, I know. Please, you ever watch? We've talked about the IT crowd. Yeah. Oh, great show. Yeah, it's a good show. One of my favorites oh. of all time. The guy gets up from the meeting and just falls out the, out window. the window. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Renneman, Renneman, something like that. Renum. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, anything, anything with Matt Barry in it. Oh, he's I'm good. so good. Yep. You watching what we do in the shadow? We talked about that. Okay. A couple weeks ago. Okay. I'm not caught up. I know I need to. I love that show. Good though. stuff. It is hilarious. Good stuff. And wow. it is, it is Matt Barry centric at this point. And oh, is it? Well, but see, it feels like kind it, of it is, but it still focuses on every at least to where I'm at. It does where it focuses it on everybody well enough to where like it doesn't feel like we've focused too much on one character. I like, just, it feels I just love Matt Barry and his pronunciations. Um, that is my favorite. His, this is uh, like uh, if he said the pronunciations or what you know he just he, it, it, that's, that that didn't even do it justice. But he he's just so good at, oh, at the weirdest little things times of of bringing that out where he pronounces a word weird or something i love just love it the small thing too that he has to yell bat every time he turns into a bat (laughs) none of the other vampires have to but he does yeah Uh, there's so he's he's been good in everything that i've watched him in colin robinson Uh, is fantastic in this uh on the new one yeah in this season new baby colin robinson uh, yeah yeah it's a whole thing um, terrible CGI, but it's right. great. That's, it doesn't yeah. matter. All right. So what we have here today is something that we've touched on a bit, uh, in a sense before. Um, I know you remember the great episodes we talked on the else world tells yeah, yeah, yeah. of commandy at world's end. Right. And then that we was also the same had time when Superman's real big. Yeah. And then we had Superman at Earth's end yeah. like the next year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything was about superheroes in the future with these Elseworld tales. So it was only a matter of time before other DC characters had Elseworld tales there in the early 90s. Okay. And specifically, we could see a theme in the early 90s that a lot of it was space based. Space based. Uh, you remember everything in those comics happened in like the year 2099, yep. right? Yep. Our 2999. There we go. I said it right. 2999. Um, none of them are referenced in this. Low, low prices. But I do like to think that somehow it's all connected. Sure. Because what we have today um, is Robin 3000. Mm. So, so I, I never read any of these. I do remember when they came out. What, mm-hmm. what year is this? 93. Three ninety. Okay. Hold on, let me double check that. All right. Yeah, January to February. It's a two two books. It's just two books. It's just two books for this story. Okay. And it's thicker, as you can tell. Here's yep. here's the beauty of this. So I T-H-I-C-C, went to like the kids say. Yep. Um, two C's for sure. Sure. At least compared to your regular <laughs> comics. Uh, but I went to our one of our local comic book establishments. Oh. And I was just digging through the dollar box, which is where I just like to look. Uh-huh. And I came across and I grabbed, I was like, oh, this is a, th- okay, book two. Like, I wonder how many are in the series. Sure. So I'm like, I wish they had book one. And there was one more behind it. And I go, it's probably three. And I go, no, all right, it's one. I'll get one or two just to see. Turns out that's all that's there is. That's it. Yeah. So yeah. I was able to, $2 here. Spent. You said, you said 93? Is that what you said? 93. Okay. January and February of ninety three, when these things came out, they were four ninety five US. Yeah. So even with inflation, I still got to deal with both of these for dollars. Yeah, I but I I do remember when these came out. It was this about the same time as when they killed Superman off. Yes. Okay. 
That's um, what I thought. I mean, it's around that early nineties. The Death reason Superman. The reason I'm asking is because of this reflective cover thing. Well, there they was went a through lot. A phase. Yes, yeah. DC and Marvel mm-hmm. both had yeah. a lot of run in the nineties. Oh, guess what? We're gonna put a reflective cover up. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. It's like people were speculating on like, oh, that'll be a big thing. And everybody got into the comic book market, especially in the 90s, mm-hmm. like, oh, that'll be something. And then realized, wait, I have to wait like 10, 20, 30 years for this to be something. <laughs> oh, maybe, never mind. And then it all kind of crashed. Maybe this was a thing. I don't know if it is or not or was, but did they ever have one of the covers where you touch it and it would show your handprint like I, the clothing? I don't know about that. I have. Seems like a thing they would have done, though. Right? I have still in its poly bag. Probably from back. the early 90s, maybe late 80s. I think it's early mm-hmm. 90s. Uh, Robin Comics that I had from one with the kid. And the cover is one of those where you can, like, move it. Oh, yeah. And it, like, moves yeah. the... the insert thing. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, they d- did gimmicky stuff oh, like yeah, that. they did so. gimmicky stuff all the time. Yeah. I don't like this Robin already because he's got blonde hair. Well, it, it gets... It's got to be bleached, right? Uh, No, that is his... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was double-checking. It was... uh. December 92 until October 93 was the storyline for it. So okay. October 93 right. is the death of Superman. Okay. So yeah, around the same time. Um, here is something that is very interesting about this book that I feel like I should state before we get into it. Yeah. Uh, it's bad. So, well, it, it is. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's just, it's not even like bad for any reason. It's just, it's just like. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. there's some interesting things for us to talk about. There's a lot of it. Uh, it is created by Byron Priest and P. Craig Russell. P. Craig Russell. Uh, it's, again, one of the Elseworld tales. So it's Robin in the year 3000. P. Craig Russell sounds like a, a, like a, a coffee restaurant of like a TGI Fridays. Maybe. Like, a, uh, I'll meet you over at P. Craig Russell's <laughs> for, for margaritas. Or it sounds like really <laughs> fancy ice cream. Yeah, could be. Like, oh, have you tried uh, P. Hey, Craig Russell's new... Hey, by the way, what the hell is going on in the ice cream market? What do you mean? If I go to Walmart yeah, and I go to the end cap at the Walmart um, where I live, uh-huh. there are several new flavors of ice cream. Okay. Macaroni and cheese. Wait, what? Pizza. I don't want savory ice cream. No. Whoever has started this insanity, stop it now. Yeah. Uh. It's gross. I don't want that. I don't want lavender flavored ice cream. I don't want any of that crap. I can get behind. I've had lavender. lavender. I, I feel like I'm eating soap. I don't I like, want it. I like it. Ugh, gross. I'm too hippie. Coffee. For Mike, but that's coffee cool. is as far as I'll go. For savory. You get, you get past coffee. I'm done. Oh, coffee ice cream. I do like a good coffee ice cream though. Really? Yeah. I just don't like. It's coffee. something in my older years that I have started to enjoy. I know, true. That and adult diapers. Oh, no, that's really cool. Is that who today's... No, no I eat they, the ice cream out of the adult diapers. It's great. <laughs> today's, today's episode is brought to you by <laughs> P. Craig Russell's ice P. cream. P. Craig Russell's pull-ups. <laughs> we don't need to. This, I mean, I don't know P. Craig Russell. He could be a very nice man. <laughs> I'm sure he is a very nice person. So this is not the P. Craig Russell who had anything to do and with he this makes book. A, he this makes, is a completely different <laughs> fictional P. Craig Russell. He makes a hell of he a twice-cooked potato skin. It's really good stuff. I thought he was making pampers. Well, it's, it's several. It's a conglomerate. Oh, oh, that's, yeah. oh, it's the same company. He makes ice cream. He has the TJ Fridays knockoff and the adult pull-ups. Sure. Well, it's a conglomerate. It's, it's, P. Craig Russell is more of a, of, a, of a conglomerate corporation that has their fingers in a lot of pies. Do you think? And speaking of that, have you tried, have you tried P. Craig Russell's pies? They're fantastic. I wish I could have gotten that out of my mouth. It would have been so much better. Do you think the kids ever, like, after to try to be cool, like, hey, we're going to PC Russ's if you want to <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. See, I love when we go on tangents where it's just the two of us who are just having fun and everybody PC else listening Russes. is probably like, what PC the hell? PC Russes. So, love something that. I found interesting about this, though, before 15 I... 15 pieces of flair. Before I... You know, yeah. Hitler made... No. Um, <laughs> I love that movie. That's a good stuff. All right. Uh, this story for Robin 3000 yeah. was actually originally created by Byron Priest and P. Craig Russell in 1985 and 86. Okay. And you're like, okay, wow, that's wow, a long time. That is time a long for time, it. yeah, to wait for uh, it. It was originally made as a graphic novel titled Tom Swift 3000. <laughs> Okay. You know, you know of Tom Swift? No at least? idea. All right. So Tom Swift. It just conjures like Tom Sawyer and is, you know, is, Huckleberry This Finn. is mine. And there's probably somebody out there Batman. who is a Tom Swift expert. 
Uh, but from my understanding, I think it started with books. The first volumes were from like 1910 to 1941. Okay. He was a like book character, Tom Swift. He okay. was a young man. So it's like a Tom Sawyer who, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Who was able to like, uh, he was very smart. He was able to create inventions and he would go on like these big adventures. Okay. And that's what Tom Swift was. Sure. So it was written as a graphic novel for like a, you know, a comic book version of like yeah. a Tom Swift. Yeah, I got you. Um, it featured a futuristic version. Did you just say that Tom Swift was written as a comic book version of a Tom Swift? Maybe. <laughs> Okay. I'm following you. I yeah, get it. Yeah, um, it's great. You're saying that Byron and P. Craig uh, wrote a Tom, wrote Swift, a Tom story. Swift version that was a graphic novel version of the, uh, of book the books. Character. Yes. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry. No, you're fine. So it featured a futuristic version. Uh, I'm just reading this verbatim mm-hmm. now on this part. It sure. featured a futuristic version of the uh, Stratemeyer Syndicate. Stratemeyer Syndicate. Character, Tom Swift. Tom Swift. Uh, and was intended for Simon & Schuster's new graphic novel line. Mm. However, when Simon & Schuster, Simon and Schuster's when graphic Simon novel When Simon & line. Schuster changed their minds on entering the graphic novel market, the story languished for years before yeah. they brought it to D.C. with plans to make it a Robin story. Okay. Here's, here's the beauty of this, right? So they have this whole graphic novel written. Yeah. Hey, what we can make this a Robin story instead. It's Tom, Tom Swift into Robin. And it says, which was accomplished with rewriting and the addition of 18 new pages. Well, no shit. Yeah. So there you go. You got to rewrite something if you're going to change the name of the character. So this was a Tom Swift and book. And the setting. And <laughs> add Batman. Doesn't. Well. Sure. Just wait. Okay. This is, uh, yeah, it was interesting. Um, I will say, as uh, Mike pointed out before, it's one of those, it's like a harder yeah. kind of uh, cardboard, for lack of a better term. Yeah, it's cover. really thick. It's really thick Yeah, cardboard, and it's yeah. like regular, like, um, not. Those are thick pages. Those are is. graphic novel type yeah, pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a semi-glossy, but not like the A heavier thin. bond. There you go. Sure. So, it has a forward. I didn't read it. The ink is edible. Oh, I didn't try you that. You can lick it right off the pages. But it's very much, the art in this is just kind of. Well, yeah, it's good. Well, it's decent. Good. Yeah. So uh, already we're set up in a futuristic skyscrapers. Gotham. Batman signal on the on the side right. of a big glass mountain or so whatever. So to make it Explosions. easy, before we get into the story, is that a I'm, flying saucer? That's it. So okay. by twenty nine ninety nine, yeah, Earth is overtaken by a group of aliens called the Sculp. The Sculp. The Sculp. Mm. So okay. essentially, and they're. Uh, I biggest bet Pete target Craig came up with that. Oh, uh, he might have, or it could have been uh, Byron. We don't know. Try our new sculpt dessert, <laughs> only at P. Craig's. Hey guys, <laughs> let's go to PC Russ's. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's so stupid. Uh, but so Batman is very much; he's just an enemy of the aliens. There. Sure. Batman causing hates them, aliens. I causing know them that. problems and stuff. By the way, futuristic Batman. He's only around for like a couple pages. But he has like the dead shot um, eye patch thing. Oh yeah, that's why Batman. futuristic Batman. Why is Batman like twelve years old in this thing? Because uh, this is the year three thousand. Why is he so young? In the year three thousand, <laughs> Conan. Yep. Uh, but essentially, Batman realizes like, all right, I've can't outrun them anymore. Like they're just gonna keep coming after that's me. That's the thing about aliens. They found out that. Batman is Bruce Wayne. Oh, okay. now that he knows, now that they know that Batman's Bruce Wayne, sculpt gonna do what a sculpt gonna they're do. They're gonna stop at nothing to get him. So, but right. he's like, they don't know that you, my nephew, mm. Tom Wayne. <laughs> Good God! Wow. <laughs> they only changed they his change, last they name. They changed last name. Yeah. Uh, it's, hey, Tom. It's funnier to me knowing that yeah. it was supposed to be yeah. a Tom Swift book. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Tom Wayne. I guess maybe named after his dad. Grody. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Batman basically just kind of tells him, uh, hey, you know, I just know I, I have to die. Like, it's your turn to be able to keep the people safe. Like, they're yeah. not going to stop till they get I me. I have to die? He's like, I have to, like, 
they're going to stop at nothing. I have to sacrifice okay, myself for the cause. Batman. Sure. Right? So what he does is he basically drops his nephew off in the middle of a, they're through this whole airfield. They're talking back and forth. Again, we're not spending a lot of time on the uh, dialogue. I can sum it up pretty well. Oh, I'll I'll get to it. So he basically beams his nephew Tom down because he's like, you're not going to die with me. Robin Swift is going right up in that. They don't know that you're Robin. Yeah. He had an Android Robin. Good on God. the plane with no, him. Come on, shut yeah, up. I'm sorry. Yeah, he had an Android, Android Robin. Robin. Uh, I skipped that. Sorry. So he had Android Robin oh, there with him man. that looks just like him. Come on. That's well, going to be on the ship. I mean. So if they get captured, they're going to think that they have Batman and Robin and Tom can. So he's doing the whole um, dummy in the passenger seat so I can be in the. Um, uh, HOV, or, HOV yeah. lane, yeah. Yeah, except also, like, if they kill me, they'll think the dummy's you, too. Got it. Okay. Um, or if they capture us, like, they can't, won't be able to tell that this, sure. you know, android isn't really yeah. these Robin. These aliens that came from another galaxy won't be able to tell that this is a robot I got yeah. over here in the seat. Um, sure. The story's a little, going, com- a little confusing, and I'll try to break it down the best I could. Also, I should confused. say that, you know, I read through this this week, but also I've slept uh, in a day since then, so some of it's kind of fuzzy. Yeah. You didn't um, take all this to heart? No, I didn't. It? Also, day drinking while watching college football sure, is the best thing, too. Yep. But I feel like that fits with the MO of our it show does, somehow. Absolutely, too. yeah. Uh, but it's not, you know, this isn't stuff that you're going to write in about, hey, you know what my it's favorite not like comic this book a, of all time it's was. It's not like this is an old Tom Swift book. No, I mean, no, that, I would have expected oh, come something. On. yeah. You know where you can get a good Tom Swift book? Huh. P. P. Craig. P. Craig Russell's. <laughs> P.C. Russ's. <laughs> We're going to kill this into the ground what? <laughs> before the show's you get a, over. You get a good Tom Swift book uh, with, with every 12-ounce uh, 12 ounce, 12 ounce sirloin. <laughs> God dang it. Why, what is wrong with my tongue? What? I think it's all this space coke I'm drinking. Twelve ounce, sirloin? twelve ounce sirloin. Okay, for some reason I heard fifty two ounce. Like, fifty two ounce that's sirloin. A finish it all. Sirloin. You finish it all in one one sitting. You get a free <laughs> Robin three thousand comic. <laughs> and your Tom Swift books half off to throw up on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Batman. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> Batman drops uh, Tom, his nephew. That I should say it too. Robin is Tom Wayne. Mm-hmm. He is Bruce Wayne's right. nephew. Got it. Sure. I should also explain Perfect. something that is brought up later mm-hmm. that I found very weird. Batman's a tool. Uh, well, no, he can be at times, but this okay. is, he will reference his uncle, Bruce Wayne the 20th. Oh, man, come on. That's why he's 12 years old. So Bruce Wayne Gross. was so just I'd rather full of himself for 19 19- 19 generations. generations. I would rather you put him in like a time capsule or something than tell me he's Bruce Wayne the 20th. He's Bruce Wayne the 20th. That is so disgusting. Either way, what happens is uh, he sees, you know, my either way is always just the move on when I can't explain the yeah, things I get that are it. going no, on. I get it, get it, get it. So he sees what he, you know, the uh, bat ship, what a bat, bat wing, ship. whatever, explode. He's kind of, you know, Anger, he's angry. One of the uh, sculpt bots catches him, tells him to halt. You know what's really great is that new bat chip dessert over at P. P. Craig Russell's. PC Russ's. PC Russ's. Get your bat chip dessert. Bat chip dessert with a big old scoop of Robin ice cream right on top. For a limited time. A sculpt of Robin ice cream right on top. Oh, that's good. Mm, It's good stuff. Yep. So uh, he throws a rock at this bot. It basically <laughs> fires on him and can tell that he's a Wayne. Um, they know obviously Waynes are at least related to Batman. Sure. Don't know that he sure. is Robin, but yeah. so they arrest him because no one else in, in the world could be named Wayne. And he spends a year in a sculpt prison that looks like a I don't know. Looks like a regular prison. It looks like a house, but it's yeah. a prison. Okay. Um, his buddy basically. Hey, your house can be a prison. That is true. That's right. Get on, get some fresh air every now and then. Yep. If you know anyone who feels like their house is a prison, please call. Are you going to edit the number? number. I don't okay. have a number. Google. <laughs> call me. I don't know. <laughs> don't call Mike. He doesn't have a number. Uh, but so essentially with the help of his friend. Why is he taking his skin off? Well, no, this is another android. There's a lot of androids oh, in this. Okay. All right. uh, his friend. That Tom's feels very friend, lazy, right? Kind of does. When you can't do anything else, everybody's an android. Android. Uh, yeah. Tom's friend, and it's spelled A-K-I. So I think. 
Aki. 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 Is his friend's name? Mm-hmm. Aki. So Tom's you have friend. To say it that way every time. <laughs> Tom's friend Aki lets Aki. this uh, basically sculpt <laughs> android. They have re. Yeah. wired it yeah. and he set it to blow up and he escapes from prison takes his skin off yep and aki picks him up and they go aki. ahead and they leave the prison to get away yep uh in they a different see, ship they see on the news that thomas wayne what? or tom wayne okay is actually now on tour with different sculpt representatives t- talking about the uh relationship between humankind and the sculpt like hey it's great like there's no need for us to rebel, even though the Waynes have been like one of the biggest fighters against this mm. this alien invasion. So this is like the so in a sense, yeah. Yeah, you uh, remember that show, right? I do. The you, original one or the, the re- and stuff? No, the re- original one. Yeah. With uh, um, I just found out recently that um, what's his name, Robert England, was mm. in it. Freddie Krueger. In the new one? No, in the original. In the old one. one? Oh yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that was pre. Freddie Krueger. Oh man, I remember when I was a kid. I was sitting on the. I was sitting on the. I can tell you exactly where it happened. I was sitting on the kitchen table because we had like a little eight inch black uh, color TV right over the kitchen table where we ate Mm -hmm. the kitchen bar. Um, And I would sit on that and watch my shows while the parents were in the other room watching their shows. And I was watching V. And I remember, boy, they pulled out that guinea pig and put it right down their gullet. And it stuck with you? It stuck with me, man. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, every time I see a guinea pig, I think somebody's going to eat it. Oh, wow. That's rough. Well, I was going to introduce you to my pet. If you know one. anyone who eats guinea pigs, call. Right. Are you going to edit that number in here? No. Don't call Mike. He doesn't have that number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is just nothing but callbacks. It's this not. Is just, we, got, we got two jokes, and we're just going to call them back keep... every time. Yeah. Yep. The good news is, though, is you can say them along with us because <laughs> you'll right. get them down by the end. That's right. Uh, but yeah, so Tom Wayne's basically okay. on tour with these aliens like, hey. So like, he's he's faking it. Well, it turns out like the sculpt are using androids themselves. Ah, uh, sure. So it's not the real Thomas Wayne. They've oh. made these Tom Wayne. Tom Wayne and a half. Androids. Okay. To go out and basically be like, hey, yeah, no, everything's cool. Beep, bop, boop. Everything's great. Well, um, when they're trying to land on the planet they're running away to, they crash mm-hmm. their ship. Do you know the name of the planet? Uh, yeah. God, oh, Bolivar. Oh, damn. I was hoping it'd have a number in it. Nope. GX9. Nah, uh, Bolivar. Uh, but they wreck the ship. Bolivar. Bolivar. Boulevé, maybe. Bo- Boulevé. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. You know where you can get some great Boulevé? Uh, P. Craig Russes? <laughs> P. Craig. PC Russes. PC Russes. Yeah. Steaming hot bowl of bouillabaisse. So, uh, when they crash, it messes up Tom's hand like really bad. Okay, yeah, um, I see it. It just it's has all blood bloody there. Yeah, yeah. well, they the are hand. met by a scientist who's out there like doing research for sure. the sculpt. Yeah, and they pretend to be like also working for the sculpt to okay. get him to help Tom. Yeah. Yeah. So he basically fixes Tom's hand and gives him a full. He amputates it and gives him a full mechanical hand. Right. All right. Uh, by the way, are you expecting to hear things related to Batman and Robin lore? Because you're not going to. Because it's not a Batman and Robin story. Because it's a Tom Swift yeah, story yeah. presented as Robin 3000. Sure. I would also like you to know that have you seen him in that costume yet throughout this? Nope. Just the android at the beginning. Okay. Uh, basically, while he's in surgery, we find out like it tells the whole backstory of how uh, his grand... his. I don't, Bruce Wayne the 19th. Great, 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 Well, if the 20th was his uncle, his great uncle then, whatever. Oh, yeah, your um, right. uncle. Was like always, he started. So does he, that mean it stopped at the 20th? Yeah. I guess so, huh? So the Batman's gone. Huh. I guess. But we don't know how. No, I mean, the his shit blew up. Oh. They well, tell you later, like, they killed him. Like, you know that they okay. killed him. Okay, got it. But it's always in it like a, like this, this, oh, yeah, he's probably dead. And just in case they want to bring him. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, I got it. Even in, you know, the year 3001. So um, he tells the story about how Bruce Wayne the 19th basically created this uh, cloning procedure Mm. to be able to replicate food. And it was helping with, you know, to help with starving people across the world. Then they tried to, you know, then the scientists got a hold of it and they used his technology to try to adapt humans to be able to live on other planets and stuff Mm. like that. 
but it was his technique that they used and it caused people to get sick. Oh no. And because people got sick, they were, you know, falling uh, victim and dying from this, this thing that, you know, mm. the Waynes had caused. So the sculpts show up with a cure. All they have to do, you know, and they just give them a cure basically. And they save the whole human race. Right. And in turn, like a lot of people just kind of, don't ask questions like, oh, thank you for oh, saving yeah. us. And they just kind of okay. go about their day. Right. And there's yeah. like a, yeah. but then there's like a rebellion who realizes like, hey, they're still just trying to, like they want to overtake our world. Like we're nothing to them yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. But the Waynes were then, you know, kind of blamed for everything. Well, and kind of were. Yeah. So Bruce Wayne the 20th or maybe the 19th decided to go back and be a bat. Hence Batman <laughs> came back. <laughs> Whatever. And so that's why Batman was back. back. Now they're dead. The very next day. Uh, So he wakes up, finds out that uh, he's not really, the doctor finds out they don't really work for the sculpt. And he finds out he can shoot lasers from his finger. Tom does, I guess. You know how bad bad this story is? Yeah. Your energy is just gone like through the floor as you're reading through this thing. You You were super excited at the first. And now it's just like, yeah, and he shoots some lasers out of his fingers. And well, then there's, Batman's probably there's this, beats. Like, the, there's beats ah, that I can get excited about just gotcha. because of, like, WTF, and you'll see. Sure. Okay. But I have right. to at least just explain okay. while we go through just, to make it. I started it. to feel bad for you because you were like, I got to get through the rest of this, and I'm still in issue one. Yeah. Well, some of this is just a lot. Sure. A lot of just dialogue for nothing. Yeah. Uh, well, it's a book. Yeah. So they kidnap the doctor. They He basically lies to the drones and says that... Oh, yeah, no, these are my assistants to get them into this main sculpt city, wherever they're trying to head to. Main sculpt Tom, city. Tom and Aki are headed to Aki. some other planet, and they use the doctor to get in there. And after they pass through, he's like, hey, where do you want us to leave you? And he's like, but this is my ship. And they're like, yeah, but you can't come with us. And he's like, oh, just leave me over there. Like the doc, it's so sad for the doctor. Doesn't call them in or report them though. Okay, he's still with the cause. Right. Just, just leave me over there by the curb. That'll yeah, be fine. Uh, essentially, they go and they find uh, Aki's friend, who is this little kid. He looks like like he's super tiny. Oh yeah, he is tiny. Whose name is tiny Moon? Tim. Moon. No, tiny it's Tim. Moon something something Moon Moon Bailey Moon Baby. So, moon, uh, what'd you say, Bailey? Moon Bailey. Okay. I thought yeah. you said Moon Baby. No, Moon Bailey. That's weird. Um, you remember the big moon-headed guy that used to sing about McDonald's? Vaguely, yeah, a little bit. He was kind of creepy looking. Okay. Do you know you can buy a birthday cake from McDonald's? It's like you? a sheet cake with like really? Ronald McDonald juggling on it. I did not it. It's know like nine that. bucks. No. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to buy you one of those cakes. Okay. You, you got to wait till next year. Cake. Um, oh, no, it's not for your birthday. No, oh, just it's, because? Any day can be special. With a McDonald's theme cake. <laughs> ba da ba ba ba. I got a cake. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, we find out in something that never comes up again that the there's a safe here in this facility that Moon Bailey works at that has Moon a baby. picture of Bruce Wayne the 19th in it for some reason. <laughs> Don't know. It's never brought okay. up again. Oh, this is like an entire different galaxy yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, sure. There's this. A uh, lizard, like amphibian monster, yeah, that breaks through, that kills robots, and it's attacking Tom, and Tom's fighting it, and he's about to kill it when Moon Bailey comes up and basically Moon calms Bailey. the thing down, and we yeah. found out that it was a clone of some sort. Okay, that a he clone was gone trying, wrong. I, I guess, maybe. yeah, yeah. Uh, so they get ready to leave to head to wherever they're going, and that's where they Who see another. Dude? They see another fake Tom Wayne oh. there with the sculpt talking about, "Hey, everything's great here." Oh, yeah. Now we get introduced to our main bad guy. Okay. Which is Dragon. It's close to Dragon. It's not Dragon. Yeah, she calls him. Okay, there's a girl called Jinra, who's this blonde here. That's Jinra. Jinra. And wears no pants. uh, Yeah, she just wears like uh, wrestling bottoms. Mm -hmm. Um, It's going to say his name. There we go. Dragon, D R E G O N, G O N is our big bad. Hail Dragon. He's the head of the sculpt. He okay. doesn't really have any He's features. Purple. Yeah. You yeah, can purple see he doesn't boy. really have much features. Yep. Uh, he talks about. Does it know, ever explain why she doesn't wear pants? No. Okay. We find out that, you know what, I'm not even going to follow this chronologically. I'm just going to tell it in a more interesting way. Sure. So uh, we find out that the reason that this blonde haired girl, Jinra, is working with. 
uh, Dragon, our mm-hmm. evil guy, mm-hmm. is because Dragon has her parents locked away in some skull prison. Mm. And he keeps telling her, like, hey, keep doing these jobs for me, and eventually I'll let him go. Obviously, he never does. Maybe he has her pants. So maybe. That's going to be a big turning point later because obviously you can see book two. She's with Robin. She still has no pants. Spoiler alert. She's going to help him. Oh. Um, but Dragon's whole thing is he wants to obviously. I don't like that robot. Nope. He wants to take over. There's a lot I don't like about this book. Mm. He wants to take over all of Earth uh, at the show there with the android where it's speaking about the Tom Wayne android. Right. A group of rebels yell out death to the sculpt and start firing on them. You know, they Do they have pants? Yes, these all have pants, and they take the Thomas Wayne android hostage, <laughs> okay. thinking it's the real Tom Wayne. Sure. It is weird to me that the only girl in this story so far doesn't have any pants. Yeah, well, I mean, there's another girl with the Rebels, but you never see her legs. She probably doesn't have pants either. No, I think she did. Everybody else Comic is wearing pants. Comic book world. No pants. Girls don't have pants. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, in the real world, they do. Either way, they're I taking them. I am thankful for that. Uh, either way, they're taking them down into the sewers to kind of get them away, and... What happens is he gets electrocuted, and they're able to... These are the space sewers. Yeah, I guess, or whatever. They're able to use that. It stuns them, and they're able to catch, like, all the rebels kind of thing. And they're like, hey, did you think that you could kidnap Wayne? He's like, you idiots. And they're like, oh, we don't care. You know, you're not trying to help us. You're trying to destroy us. Well, we then find out, I guess it's the big twist at the end, is that... uh, Oh, the bad guy, he's one of those guys that has, like... A robot chin. Yeah. Yeah. Robot chin. Well, you know how it goes like from their neck to the up to their chin. It's like a Robocop kind of. It is kind of a Robocop S thing. Yeah. Like, it's almost like the Darth Vader thing without the cowl, the the, the helmet on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Uh he has made a time displacer, not a time travel machine. A time, time displacer. displacer. And he basically sends all of the rebels who the fired thing? on the Yeah, it is. I guess it is. It, it sounds or do you cooler. just take chunks of time and move them around? Yeah, uh, oh. I don't. I, he just places things. I oh, think okay. it's the same as time travel. Right. Anyway, he sends them back in time. Uh, we don't know where. He just says like, "Why don't?" Uh, he's like, "You know, your history," and like he sends them back in time somewhere so they don't have to bother. Then we get sent to a <laughs> sculpt warehouse in Gotham City where, oh, hey, remember when Batman shot that? A sculpt warehouse in Gotham City. Yeah. Remember when Batman had that android on yeah. his plane yeah. that went down? Mm-hmm. Well, it's in a sculpt warehouse in a lock, and it woke oh. up, and it opened, and it escaped and blew up the sculpt facility it was in. Okay. And now it's on a mission to find the real Tom Wayne. Oh, Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, then essentially, Tom takes a Whatever car, you need. leaves Aki, and it sets up for our next issue. Neat. Issue two. Freaking Batman's on the cover of this thing. Yeah, and he's honestly in like five panels. Yeah. And uh, Tom has yet to wear the costume. He does not wear it the entire story. For real? For real. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's just the android that's on the cover of that thing. Yeah, well, no, that's what Tom is wearing at the very first. Yeah. But then after he lets him go. Which is a very smart jacket. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. After he lets him go, he takes the mask off and stuff, and we never see him again for the rest of the thing. Until the very end. Very cool. So. Wait, you didn't tell me about this. About them being in a big ice ice cube. That's the time displacer. That's it. Like sucking them up and then. Looks like a big ice cube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, We come to find out that essentially the sculpt. Uh, Tom's dad was uh, kidnapped and put in a prison by the Sculpt and mm-hmm. kind of labeled a traitor. So Bruce took Tom in and taught him kind of how to defend himself and trained him to be his partner, and that's how he became Robin. Then we see that uh, the android Robin is back at the Bat Cave, and he goes and he finds a little, like, storage cubes in the wall and he says, genetic code green, uh, nucleic storage chip 2999A, <laughs> genetic code red. There's those and there's, numbers. Yep. And so there are these little, like, yellow chip things. And the android pops his fingernails back and puts the chips in them. Grody. Yep. And then closes them down. But he's able, it shoots Ooh. a light beam out of his, I guess it's like, oh, 
That's where Tom is. It's out of his eyes. Yes. You said out of his, and I'm, oh. I'm assuming that people on the other end of this are like out of his what? That's true. Eyes. Yeah. I showed you his eyes. Because it could have been butt. That's true. It does not come out of his butt. It came out of his <laughs> eyes. Um, yeah, Jenra goes back and basically tells Dragon, like, hey, you're never going to let my parents go. Ain't That's no their parents. argument the whole time. Yep. Uh, Aki and the real Tom, Aki. the real Tom, yeah. uh, meet with another group of the rebellion to be like, hey, I'm the real guy. No, we see you with the skull. No, that's not me. They have androids. Mm. You got to trust me. You know, the doctor's with us. We have this giant plan to basically take them down. Okay. So they're kind of like, all right, we'll go ahead and do that. The android actually flies to a random planet and lands uh, on, a, it seems like a deserted island to where he runs into a woman named Selena Kyle. <laughs> like, okay. right? She's not in there at all. all. Right, sure. It lasts, honestly, half a page. But it's just basically, hey, we'll throw Selena but Kyle on this in there. Planet, she's cat lady. No, uh, basically, the android just picks up like a device thing and he like plugs it into himself, I guess, to get more information or whatever. Don't see Selena Kyle again. That's Neat. just, hey, we'll just throw that in there. Okay. So uh, basically, they take this ship, uh, they being Tom, Aki, uh, Moon Bailey, and the doctor. Do we ever from see before. a robot named Alfred? No. Oh, damn. They know. really missed something there, didn't they? They did. Uh, the doctor from earlier, they needed a ship, so they went and picked him back up to get a ship again. Yeah. And he was cool with it. Okay, sure. So they're basically... Hey, guys, glad yeah, you're back. <laughs> they're basically rigging up this uh, ship that he had access to with guns and stuff to protect them as well okay. as extra shields because they're headed towards the main sculpt bad guy palace area. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> bad guy palace area. Uh, it's funny because uh, they're having a giant like stadium uh, event. Okay. At this main planet where the Sculpt headquarters is. Sure. And they crash their rocket basically into where they're having it. What what kind and of an event? I, I don't, uh, it's where Tom Wayne is, the androids are speaking. So probably oh. like, oh, hey, everybody come to the stadium to listen to Tom Wayne tell you about how good we are. That sounds like a, a riveting event. Yeah, well, apparently it's packed with people. They catch them with their pants down. Uh, it said, it says, yeah, I caught uh -oh. them with their pants down. Uh -oh. uh, but they kidnapped the android uh, and they Did, put it back is, on the ship. This is the android. Real Tom Wayne Robin. has now kidnapped android Tom Wayne. Okay. And it just kind of stays I'm on the ship I'm having a hard with time them. with keeping up with everything that's going on. Okay. All right. I just want to make sure it's not a club of one nope. over here. Okay. I did too. All right. Then they decide, all right. Uh, oh, sorry. They get uh, arrested as they're trying to take off. They end up getting stopped and arrested by Jinra, who takes them all in. Okay. And Tom's like, no, nah, this is all part of my plan. And Moon Bailey's like, well, what are we going to do for the plan? And Tom's like, haven't figured it out yet, but we'll, it's fine. Okay. Like, just trust me, dude. We got a girl with no pants. We got Moon Baby. And we got Tom Holland. And or Aki. What's his, and Aki. Yeah. Okay. Tom Wayne. Tom Wayne, sorry. Tom not, not Tom Wayne. Holland. <laughs> That's when I hear Tom Swift, I think of Tom Slick from Super oh, Chicken. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it was Super Chicken, Tom Slick, and um, there's a third one on there. What was it? Georgia, the, they were all on Georgia the oh, Jungle. Oh, it was on Georgia, Georgia the, the Jungle. Georgia the Jungle, you're right. Yep. you're right. The one I was thinking of was um, um, the, oh, shit, what was it called? Um, the Mighty Heroes? You ever seen Mighty Heroes? Probably, but I don't know. Baby Man, Rope Man, those guys? No. Okay. Okay, maybe not. All I thought right. I did. You should think that up. Yeah, it's good. Sounds Funny. like the superpowers that the Harlem Globetrotters had in that <laughs> 70s cartoon I watched. <laughs> That's a that's a real real throwback. Why I think we talked about that in like the early episodes. Why did everybody at that time have to have like a dog or a monkey or a pet of some kind? Dude, well, we talked about the what's the Wonder Twins, right? Yeah. Why did they need the Gleek. monkey? Yeah. Gleek. Such a bad name. Well, it's funny. Uh, one of the comic channels uh, that I watch on YouTube that's really good. That's Comic Tropes. Uh, he had an episode that he did that. All, for some reason, even like following sales data, for some reason, at least back in the day, issues of like DC comics that had gorillas on the cover sold better. <laughs> uh, don't. That's really great, though. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. That's you cool know, info. So there's a time and yeah. like there were a lot of gorillas on there because then you like gorillas sell. Don't yeah. know why, but gorillas yeah. sell. So 
People love gorillas. Yeah. Uh, They're so like us. Oh, yes, in so many ways. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Dragon is so happy that Jenner has basically caught the real uh, Tom Wayne, and so uh-huh. finally he's able to see them. But while they're there, Jenner decides, you know what? Forget it. I'm tired of you saying that I'm never going to get to see my parents. I know that you're not. And she kind of shoots at them. And my legs are so cold. Yeah, and she kind of shoots at them to help everybody get away and escape. Okay. Like, you see how much dialogue's here. I'm, yeah, I'm saving you that. There's a lot of it. Oh, it is. So they're essentially running away. Uh, the They exchange Who are they fire appealing between each to other. Here? I just don't understand the audience they're shooting for here. I'm trying to remember. Did I already? Oh, yeah. Because so, it's very detailed. So they leave. But the details are bad. Oh, here, where is it? Yeah, it is. So they get the best. Where is this at? Hold on, hold on. And hold again, on. Batman's on the back of this thing. He is on the back of this thing. Okay, so. I could, it, 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 real quick, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. But I could deal with a Batman with a cyber eye. I mean, that'd be cool, right? If you just had a Batman running around the year 3000 with a cyber, he's part cyber or whatever. Really that would cool. be cool. Yeah. But no, not. Uh, just blow him up. Not Robin. It's not even Robin. It's Tom Wayne. Uh, while the battle's going on, Tom goes and basically rewires and messes around with the time displacer. Okay. So when Dragon tries to use his time displacer to go back an hour to be able to redo them getting the upper hand and everything, instead it zits him. Zit. Z- z- and he says, Wayne and Jinder will die for this. All traitors will die. What is the difference? Uh, what, what is the opposite of displacing? Is it? Replacing, staying, putting somewhere, and then he says he valid. So whatever it ruined his machine, and he's like it. stuck in whatever. He's basically defeated. They leave. He looks like he's stuck in amber or and something. They, yep, he leaves, and they travel back, and all of a sudden they get a beacon. Where is this? Oh, as the young crew contemplates its destiny, mm. a monitor lights on a control panel is unheated. An android has arrived. It's recon. Sorry, it reconstitutes itself into matter after the long teleportation. Okay. A trip that would be impossible for a living organism. Sure. The android quickly begins tracking the movement of Tom Wayne. Hours pass before the youngest Wayne separates from his companions for the night. And he's walking and he turns and he goes, no. And it's the android there. And then the android says, silence, Master Wayne. Are you? And the android says, I am android. I am an android from Earth. I am following the plans of Bruce Wayne 20. <laughs> and he goes, Bruce is alive. And the android just goes, I have no idea. Or, I have no doubt on that question. I've been programmed to activate on a specific date to find Tom Wayne. And he goes, why? And he goes, I'm here to give you, uh, I'm to give you back your destiny. So, so they are just now explaining why this thing came awake and blew up that. I'm here to give you back your destiny, oh, which was his mask. mask. Yeah. Right. And then okay. he goes, how do you know, or how do I know you're not a sculpt Android? And that's when he pops open his fingernails and he gives him those little orange things from earlier. Yeah. And he goes, all right. And Tom says, DNA chips. The only place on earth you could find these is the bat cave. And Android says, I'm instructed to give them to you. And it's, I just got to read, the, it's towards the end. So yeah. Tom inspects the glistening cubes in the glistening Android's cubes. hand. cubes. And their reflective surface, he sees himself and remembers. He knew that Bruce's last experiments were designed to refute the sculpt's claims against the Wayne <laughs> family. The, exper- the experiments involved cloning and recombatant DNA. If the experiments were successful, Bruce had joked they could make Batman in a bottle. Perhaps Bruce Wayne will live again. Perhaps Batman will live again. And it says, they are yours. The android says, I will self-destruct after I give you your attire. (laughs) And Tom says, is there no message from Bruce? And the android says, I have no messages. Mm. And Tom goes, then I will accept the costume. So the android takes it off. And then he says, it is time for Robin to return as the android dissipates. And that's how it ends. That's right. We went a whole story called Robin 3000 where he didn't yeah. dress like Robin at all. Yeah. And there was no nothing related to Batman well, did, or Robin you, at all. You did get a question mark after the end. Oh, 
Well, here's the thing. Spoiler alert. It's never come back. So, yeah. Hey, you know what's now available at P- PC Russ's? PC Russ's? Batman in a bottle. <sighs> Goes great with a 12-ounce sirloin. There you go. Damn, I almost got it out. Well, that sucks. That was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a bad story with a bad oh, ending. Um, and this girl never had got her pants. It's terrible for her. Who's the who's the, who's this guy? Who's the robot guy? Just one of the robots oh, I was chasing. Okay, on. just one of the robots with the. Um, the, he looks like he looks like a bug, with like a, like a metal mohawk. Oh yeah, he does. Thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Know? I don't like that. I don't really either. Huh. Okay. Well, that was fun. There you go. That's Robin three thousand. Pink yeah. Greg Russes. Here's so I had another one. I, I apologize because I didn't do. I've been a busy guy, so I didn't have as sure. much time to read this week. You as see I, how you see how P. Craig Russ is, uh, Russ signs is, his name? Yeah, Look at that. Russell. And Russell. Like an old English kind of. That's the way I figure it looks on the front of the restaurant. Oh, for sure. Like P. Craig in, in a wacky font. And then and Russell's then, like Russell. classic, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I had another in just the random, like cl- I bought a random grab bag of comics I told sure. you about. And there were some random Robins from the 90s in there, too. And there's an annual, which is usually like a standalone story. Yeah. And so it's a little bit thicker, but it's a, I guess, for that year's annuals, they decided to do throwbacks to, like, pulp westerns for some of them. Oh, no. And so it's like a western Robin. And so I was going to do it when I did these, but I didn't have time to read it. So we'll get to save western Robin for later. Western Robin. But I just... I figured it was things that we could have titled it, uh, things that Robin uh, doesn't do. Sure. But uh, here's the thing. This is just Tom Swift. Uh, They found the story. I don't know how, I guess, DC was like, again, it's very loosely able to tie into anything Batman or anything related, but uh, it's there. I just, Batman, like on this first cover, it's kind of cool because it looks like Robin 3000 is this streetwise bleach haired Robin. It looks like it would be like a Batman Robin team up. Like maybe, yeah. maybe Batman gets kidnapped. Batman's and so Robin shot through the cape and stuff. Yeah. Maybe, maybe the like, big, oh, good. maybe the big bads either kidnap him yeah. or maybe Batman's injured. And so Robin, it's up to Robin. And it's a Joker bot coming after him or something. So many things, right? but yeah, there's nothing Batman about that. Penguin droid. Oh, penguin Gotham City in the year 3000, Earth is dead. Earth is, this is, hey, this is wrong. It says Gotham City in the year 3000, Earth is the grip. Oh, is is the grip of an alien invasion? Isn't isn't the word in supposed to be in there? Yeah, it should be. Earth is the grip of an alien invasion. The sculpt attempt to destroy the rebellion against them by destroying its hero, but Batman has a secret weapon. His uh, name is Robin. Oh. Well, here is the second book was yeah. Earth 3000. The invaders of one. Batman is dead. Oh, no. But there are rumors of another hero <gasps> who fought at Batman's side. The invaders think he is nothing more than a popular fantasy. They are wrong. He exists. The people know him as Robin. <laughs> Coming this fall. All right. Presented to you by, by New Line Cinemas. And P. Craig Russell. P. Craig Russell's <laughs> Robin 3000. Try the Robin 3000 burger now with extra cheese. <laughs> uh, Remember when movies used to do tie ins like that all the time? Oh, though? yeah, man. Man, I kind of miss that. They kind of still do, don't they? Nah, I don't really see any. Have you seen the, the, the uh, <laughs> speaking of those kind of tie ins, one of the stupidest things I think I've ever seen as far as a tie-in goes is uh, the the new Jurassic World thing with the Barbasol cans. Have you seen that? No. So Barbasol, the stuff you use to but, shave but, with. But Barbasol. The crap you put on your face and you scrape a razor across your face with. Yeah. They put it. They put it. They put out. They, they put it in. <laughs> they put it in. Well, when you have a couple of peak regs in your system. <laughs> Um, it, it's a Barbasol can, but it looks like it's all rusted. So it just looks like an old ass can. Why? And says Jurassic world or something on it. I don't know. I don't, it's dumb. I've never, I don't know. All right. I just thought, wow, what a weird tie in. Yeah, that is really weird. I don't even remember him talking about, granted, I only saw the first one, so. So is bar does Barbasol feature maybe there feature a lot in the Jurassic? Peach, yeah, and it, well, uh, actually, hold on. Remember, in the original, mm. Newman steals the DNA Newman. in a Barbasol can. 
Oh, that's true. You're right. So you're right. Um, I'm trying to find you this can. Let's not forget everybody. Samuel Jackson was in that movie too. They have collector cans. Yeah. He was a geek in it. Yeah. He was a, he was a, a, a computer boy. Yep. But he got to smoke cigarettes at work. Here it is. He did get to smoke cigarettes at work. You're right. Oh, the nineties. No, that's a new can. And it's uh, all rusty looking. Oh, hold on. Okay, but somebody's selling it on Etsy. Yeah, but it says Jurassic Park Barbasol Secret Storage Can Replica. Okay. Maybe, I think, I think maybe I'm just, wrong. I think they're trying to make it look like the can from this one, Jurassic Park. This one actually makes more sense. It's just got a big old Okay, yeah, one. I get yeah. that one. Either way, it's still <laughs> weird. Just a weird dye-in. Yeah. Soothing aloe right next to a... a a uh, dinosaur's head. It'll make you feel no, dude. Great. <laughs> Look, uh, what is Mercari? Is that another? That's another kind of selling oh, thing. Yeah, but that's it's, that's a can. It's even got the stamp on it. Okay, that one. You see? Okay, yeah, no, that one is. Yeah. Okay, that one is what they're supposed to. Yeah. I guess the. Okay, yeah. And by the way, Barbasol, it's beard butter. That's what it says. <laughs> beard butter. I can give you some beard butter. <laughs> You know what? Where you can get some great beard butter, Barbasol. PC PC Russes. Oh yeah, PC Russes. You get all. We have unlimited beard butter bars. Everybody, come on down to PC Russes. <laughs> I think that every show is going to be presented by PC Russes, PC until, Russes we have, until we forget about it next week. Yep, and then it'll be somebody else. It's funny how every show we have a new sponsor. I do like that. I we love, are very. I love to drive a good Byron Priest. Mm-hmm. Also. Yes. Yeah. If you haven't tried this year's priest model, make sure you get out there and try it. Byron Priest 2023. Uh, presented by Buick. Well, man, that was fun. <laughs> that, that was fun. Yeah. No, it's, uh, <laughs> I guess. Here's, okay. So here's what yeah. it was. It's, it's, yeah. we sometimes. The art's not terrible. No, the art's not terrible. It's not terrible. And it takes time, obviously, for me to have to read through these things. Sure. So some of these I take gambles on when I get into it. And so yeah. I, I donated my week to it last week and I was like, this is just not good. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's funny, though, to be able to go through it and know that it's a Tom Swift story and realize how little then was added to make it feel like it's related to Batman. Yeah, it is weird how they really didn't do much to it And he all. does not wear his costume except for the very first couple pages. That's a cool picture. That is a really cool Batman picture. Batman with of the Batman Android with eyeball. the Android eye, yeah. Mm. Um, but the first couple of pages in book one and then the last page... Of book two. That is weird. That is the only time. Yeah. I do like when this guy takes his skin off. I think that's cool. Yes. There is parts like a of the art. robot skeleton. There is parts of the art that. Shooting work. stuff out of his, bu- I mean, his eyes. His, his what? His eyes. Oh, I heard butt. And I, I, heard- I, I started to say butt. Oh, okay. It wasn't that funny. Yeah, that's okay. Well, thank you very much. Um, if they want more of this wonderful content that we are providing here, where can they find us? They can find us uh, Instagram, Instagram, bro hero on Instagram. Also, email us bros, foes, and heroes. Dot, excuse me, bros, foes, and heroes at gmail.com. Also, we are on roguemedianetwork.com as well we as are. the rest of the Rogue Media Network we got family lots of shows. podcast. Find them all. Tons right there. and tons of great stuff there for you to go ahead and check out. You got it. As always, we appreciate you taking the time out to listen to us. And until next time, stay safe, everybody. Got it, guys! Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, heroes. Gonna tell you about This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.